Our Sacred Democracy. Do you know someone, maybe a Christian, who's straining out gnats while eating a camel? Have you heard this opposition to a particular political candidate because they're a threat to... <clears throat> Hang on. Our Sacred Democracy. This is actually a pretty simple one. Three points. One. I would say first to that person, you're being insincere. Because if questioning the legitimacy of an election was tantamount to treason, then you would be just as upset at the Democrats for going on all the major news networks for the entirety of Trump's first term, claiming his presidency was illegitimate because of Russian collusion. If you were being honest, you'd be even more angry at Democrats, CNN, MSNBC, New York Times, The Washington Post, and all the other reliably left sources once you learned that the entire Russian collusion false narrative that was peddled for years was based on opposition research paid for and misreported as legal services in an attempt to obscure the payments by the Hillary Clinton campaign and the DNC. That's number one. Number two. I just note that Trump was already in office. If he wanted to overthrow democracy, why didn't he already do it? Also, do you feel more free, more secure in your job, your finances, national security these last four years compared to Trump's first term? I don't. If the last four years is what saving democracy looks like, I don't want to see another four years. Finally, number three. If you're still upset about the threat to <clears throat> and as a result are going to turn a blind eye to any time on demand up until the point of birth abortion, you're straining out gnats while swallowing a camel the size of 65 million aborted babies since Roe and more African American babies being aborted than born in some cities present day. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 23, verses 23 and 24, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You pay a tenth of mint, dill, and cumin, yet you have neglected the more important matters of the law, justice, mercy, and faith. These things should have been done without neglecting the others. Blind guides, you strain out a gnat, yet gulp down a camel. I don't believe any politician is going to save us, but because of who God is and because of what he has done, who we are in light of what he has done means you and I are obligated to do and say something. One of the many things we can do, and possibly the simplest thing we can do, is to speak out against the establishment of abortion by voting on November 5th for life. Remember, you're cut off to get registered to vote in PA is October 21st. That's just a few days away. Farallon family, message me on Facebook Messenger or see me this Sunday at church if you need assistance registering or with transportation from home to the polls on November 5th. I'm taking that day off and will be happy to pick you up, transport you to and from the polls. Have a family member or friend who has a heart for the loss and voiceless uh, but is apathetic towards voting. Consider sharing this video or your heart with them on this topic. Encourage them to register by the October 21st deadline and also to vote. Uh, we also have the option to vote early. I will be voting early here in Williamsport at the 3rd Street Plaza, 33 West 3rd Street. If you are registered in Lycoming County, you can uh, vote as well right now. Uh, any weekday, every weekday, Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. until October 29th. After that, you're going to have to go to the polls on November 5th. Uh, there's also mail-in ballot options, um, all that information. Um, you can get that and all and more information at vote.pa forward slash info. Vote.pa forward slash info. Thank you. God bless you.